Good morning friends welcome to the point in today's video we will discuss two very interesting topics pertaining to capitalism and socialism this is bit lengthy topic so i would request your patience to be maintained till the end of the video but definitely an interesting one so start with the first topic that is capitalism capitalism or capitalist economy is referred to as the economic system where the factors of production such as capital goods labor nature uh, natural resources and entrepreneurship are controlled and regulated by the private businesses in a capitalist economy the production of all the goods and services dependent upon the demand and supply in the market that is why it is also known as market economy so if you see this is one of the very striking feature of a capitalist economy in this uh, type of economic system all the factors of production so there are four factors of production so all of them are regulated by private entities there is no intervention of the government there is no such concept that all the opportunities or resources will be distributed equally the one who is the smartest or the fastest in grabbing the opportunities will win the game so that is the uh, that is how the capitalist economy runs and everything that is produced in the market or is available in the market is dependent upon the uh, demand of the product for an example if in a certain economy there is no demand for coolers so no producer would make it because uh, the dynamics of market is dependent upon the demand and supply of the product in the market so in case even if some people of the sec- some people of the society needs cooler but there is not much demand for it so the producers will not make it uh, even if some section of the society wants it they will only make those products which are highly demanded in the market and that gives the most profit they will not think of producing do- those goods which are good for the society but will produce only goods that uh, earns them or fetch them the maximum revenue so the main characteristics of a capitalist economy is the motive of earning profit the capitalist economy is also characterized by the presence of free markets and lack of participation of the government in regulating the business so as i told the government intervention is minimal or almost negligible in the capitalist societies move to next slide which talks about the features of capitalism so the first one is private property everything is owned by the private players uh, nothing is owned by the government and its entities so that is what is mentioned here in f- from things related to factories uh, machines equipments all are owned by the private individuals or private companies then is freedom of em- enterprise under this system every individual has the right to make their own economic decisions without any interference so what happens is a socialistic society uh, uh, whatever the enterprises are to be uh, started in the country is regulated by the government government will tell that so and so enterprise will be set up so and so products will be made in such enterprise so everything is regulated by the government and there is no freedom of enterprise let's suppose uh, if i hail from a socialistic uh, society or economy if i want to set up a factory for apparel and the government doesn't want so i will not be allowed to set up an apparel factory i will be only allowed to set up those factory as it is instructed by the government but it is the reverse in the case of capitalism whatever the person wishes whatever the whatever it is liked by the entrepreneur they can set up their own factory and produce the products so there is no such uh, regulation by the government next is profit motive uh, as i told uh, only those things are produced or most of the things that are produced are those that fetch the maximum profit to the entrepreneur next is price mechanism under this the price is determined not by by the government but by the uh, dynamics of demand and supply in the market um and uh, free trade in the system low tariff barrier exists that promotes the international trade and last is government interference government interference is almost negligible or uh, even if it is there it is to the minimum level in regulating the business and the economy so this is what about the capitalism or capitalistic societies moving up drawbacks what capitalist uh, society or the economy faces so first and uh, it leads to inequalities in income yes certainly because everyone is not given the equal opportunity to grow whosoever has more resources will uh, grow faster because it is often said that money attracts more money so uh, 
uh, it leads to in fact even greater divide between the rich and poor because rich will get keep getting richer and poor will remain where uh, they were earlier so it leads to greater inequalities in income next is in capitalism firms can get monopoly over workers and consumers since there are not much of government regulation in the form of labor law or uh, labor welfare scheme so uh, it is often seen that in capitalistic uh, economies uh the labors are exploited in the hands of the factory owners next is a high profit earning motive of a capitalist economy is used is to use resource in such a way that leads to environmental pro- problems by destroying the nat- natural balance so all the focus is on um, making or maximizing the profit without uh, being concerned about the environment so uh, the resources are exploited in such a way that it causes harm to the environment and some of the examples that i've quoted for capitalist economies are hong kong singapore united states uh, australia united kingdoms and there are so many of it but uh, right now i've just quoted these five examples now what socialism uh, or socialistic economy uh so it is just the reverse of capitalist economies socialism is a system in which every person in the community has an equal share of the various elements of production distribution exchange of resources now these are what factors of production and everyone has their own or equal share to it unlike the capitalist economy such a form of ownership is granted through a democratic system of governance socialism has uh, also been demonstrated through a cooperative system in which each member of the society owns a share of communal resources so it is more of a cooperative society kind of a setup where uh, each and every member of the society uh, is just not working for himself or herself but for the society as a whole and the society or the nation develops as a whole and not that a certain segment of a society is uh, developing and rest are uh, left out so that is what socialism is about uh, next is the features of socialism so all the property and resources are owned by the public since it is owned by the public it is equally or more fairly distributed as compared to the capitalist economies a small private sector also exists in the form of small business units which are carried uh, on in the villages by the local artists for local com- uh, consumption or self sustenance so it is not that in the socialist economies that uh, private entities are not allowed to exist there there are private entities but uh, the section of it is very small and the scale on which they operate is very small because most of the production and manufacturing activities is regulated by the government and the government held enterprises next is it is a centrally planned economy why because everything from production to distribution uh, is planned by the government where economy operates under the central planning authority the central planning authority establishes and utilizes the economic resources by the deliberate action a socialist economy functions within definite socio economic objectives so they have certain set objectives unlike the capitalist economy uh, where the op- objective or the sole objective is maximize profit here the objectives are the social and economic development of the society as a whole so these objectives may concern aggregate demand full employment satisfaction of the communal demand allocation of factors of production or could be elimination of poverty now these objectives are not seen in the capitalist economies uh in so socialist economy preference is given to the production of those goods which are socially beneficial so those goods that serves the greater part of the society are emphasized upon and are preferred for manufacturing rather than those goods which just serve a section of society or preferred by just few people out of luxury or their liking in a socialist economy there is greater equality of income distribution as compared with a free market economy and why because the factors of production are equally uh, distributed as well as the objectives are for the betterment of the society as a whole and not for a particular individual and uh, this is all about the features of socialism i have uh, simultaneously drawn comparison amongst uh, this capitalist and socialist society while i was uh, going through the slides in order so that you can get more clarity over as to what is prevailing in the socialist society and what is prevailing in the capitalist society so friends this is all for the today's video i hope uh, there is no much confusion there in the two concepts that is capitalism and socialism and thank you so much for maintaining so much patience till the end stay fit stay at home goodbye